It's harvest day! Look at the size of these sunflowers! We're gonna get Fozzie out of the barn. We're gonna get the little ducks rumbling. We're gonna check on all those tiny little barn kittens that we're training in the barn. We'll go through all the chickens, collect all the eggs, make sure they have food and water. We gotta get the geese and the big ducks rumbling out into the orchard. We're gonna check for eggs inside the duck house. We're gonna check on Elvis Presley and his three girls. We're gonna check on all the cockerels and pullets. They're getting big now, you know. And then we're gonna get started harvesting them sunflowers. Okay, kittens are out, fed and watered, chickens are all done, eggs are collected, now let's do the little ducks. So these little ducks, we've hatched them out a few months ago. It looks to me, out of 12 ducklings here, four of them are hens, the rest are drakes. So I only wanna add one drake into our flock. I'm gonna add all four hens to the flock and one drake, because we already have three drakes. <laughs> and the rest of them, <laughs> gotta figure out what to do with them. You know what that means, guys, right? <laughs> Fuzzy's okay, guys. You okay, buddy? Huh? You okay? <laughs> He's already figured out that he can come in and out of the barn through this broken window here. That's why sometimes he goes to the back of the barn where the bales are. 
<laughs> he's pretty agile for a big guy too, you know, he can jump up and down, he's good. out. Whoa, whoa, whoa. They're so loud. Take it easy, geese. <laughs> They're so loud. Did you guys see Molly? She's chicken. <laughs> she ran away from this goose. There's one particular goose that doesn't like Molly at all and they always chase Molly away and Molly just runs away because you know Molly's just too nice and sweet you know she just wants to be friends with the geese but the geese don't want to be friends with her. <laughs> Ducks are having a good old time foraging around. They're loving life here in the orchard. Guys, this is a perfect example, perfect example of a sunflower that's ready to harvest. You can see the disc flowers are just falling off as you gently rub them. You can see that the back of the flower is turning yellowish, brownish. You can see all of the ray flowers have all dried up. And you can actually see some of the black stripes on the sunflower seeds themselves. Those are all the indicators that you look for when it's perfect timing to harvest these sunflower seeds.
most of these sunflowers, all the ones that aren't damaged anyway from that storm we had a few weeks back, most of them are ready to harvest. And what we're gonna do is just cut the stems about, I don't know, four or five inches away from the head itself. And then that way we can put it inside our workshop or a garage to dry them out a little bit more. It's been so damp here in Ontario, haven't really had a chance to dry them fully on the stalk itself, which is ideal. You know, the birds are stealing them and mold is gonna set in and they're still too damp. So we need to cut them off and get them drying. So what we're doing here is just removing the disc flowers just simply by rubbing your fingers over it and the disc flowers seem to fall right off and it exposes the sunflower seeds themselves underneath. That way it's ready to dry. See this guys, this is an example right here of the birds stealing all the seeds. You can see right here, the seeds are still there and these disc flowers can just fall off and there's more seeds underneath. But up here, the seeds have been stolen. <laughs> We're a little bit too late on this one, the birds took them. My Darden and I decided to try growing sunflowers simply because we like to eat sunflowers and it's a very easy crop to grow. And a lot of the animals that we have, the chickens and the ducks, and now we have geese too, they love eating sunflowers too. So, you know, it'll save us from having to purchase sunflower seed throughout the year. And these are Russian mammoth sunflowers, so the, the seeds are perfect and plump for eating fresh, not like the black oil sunflowers, you know, they're like, they're only good for, for ornamental flowers and they're good for, for bird seed, you know, for wild birds. And they're used obviously to make sunflower oil. But these guys are beautiful. That's what my Darden and I are doing all day today is just removing disc flowers. <laughs> You can see them, they're just falling off, exposing this beautiful plump sunflower seed underneath. If anybody's ever wondered how you get the sunflower seeds out, now you're gonna know. This has got to be like 12 inches across, eh? This is one of the good ones. Let's take it off with all the flowers so we can get to the seeds. Woo! This is a fun day. Who knew that farm chores would be so fun? Woo! Ooh, the birds got some of them right there. But we're taking them now so the birds can't get any more. Honestly, I like the birds to get some too, but the birds just don't know when to stop. They just keep going and going and going until it's gone. And then we're gonna get none. Yeah. Okay, my Darden and I have this little garden cart filled. This is all the seed heads. There's a couple of small ones that are really tiny. They still have a full flower and they're not gonna give any seeds. So we're gonna take this over somewhere where we can sit down and peel off all the disc flowers and get them all set to dry. <laughs> Thank you. 
These are so nice just to eat raw. See? Good. Fresh. So fresh. Thanks for tuning in to the episode, guys. Hope you enjoyed yourselves. And don't forget to click that subscribe button if you're not already subscribed to the channel. We really appreciate the support. Thanks for watching, guys. You guys take care, okay?